Hello friends and welcome back to our channel. Today we have brought you exciting news. Tesla CEO Elon Musk quickly explained why Cybertruck needs an 8,000-ton gigapress, while Samsung will play a key role when Tesla's Cybertruck goes public. The passing of Tesla Giga Texas shows how big Elon Musk's Cybertruck factory is. On the other hand, the trial production of the Model Y is now in full swing at the Giga factory in Texas. The company revealed the Model Y 4680 structure battery pack, as well as several new colors that the company will produce at the German plant when production begins later this year. Although the Berlin Giga factory's first goal is to produce a Model Y body every 45 seconds, Tesla's supporters calculated that the Berlin plant can produce 700,000 cars per year at peak capacity. Elon Musk responded to this calculation and shared his views on numbers. Model Y performance is almost sold out in 2021, although the company is working hard to open two new production facilities before the end of the year. The company is still dealing with the issue of delayed delivery forecast dates. So don't go anywhere and keep watching the video for all the details. Before we start, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to Technobull, and smash the bell button to receive notifications. When answering questions from the audience at the country fair in Giga Berlin, Musk hinted that Cybertruck needs a very large rear casting because it will support the 6.5 footbed of the vehicle. Cybertruck will actually have an even bigger casting because of the truck bed. It's going to have probably an 8,000 ton press or something like that. It's pretty wild, Musk said, referring to the upcoming all electric pickup truck. Considering the huge size of the Cybertruck and its bed, it is no wonder that Tesla wants to use the 8,000-ton gigapress in the vehicle. The 8,000-ton press is unprecedented, especially considering that Model Y's 6,000-ton gigapress is already revolutionary in the automotive industry. If Tesla installs the Cybertruck's vault directly into the large broadcast at the rear of the vehicle, it will make the all-electric pickup very stiff. The rigidity of the pickup truck is desirable, especially if the vehicle will be used for actual work. This is not the first time Elon Musk has mentioned Cybertruck's special Giga Press. In January last year, Musk mentioned the 8,000-ton press of an all-electric pickup truck when he spoke at the fourth quarter 2020 earnings conference call. Musk pointed out at the time that Cybertruck's casting machine is probably the largest in the world. We're actually going to be using even bigger casting machines for the rear body of the Cybertruck because it's a bigger vehicle and you've got a long truck bed that's going to support a lot of loads. So we'll be using an 8,000-ton casting press for the rear body casting as opposed to the 6,000-ton for the Model Y," Musk said. Everyone knows Samsung, right? But the news here is that with the listing of Tesla's Cybertruck, the company will play a key role. The transaction between Tesla and Samsung to produce the next-generation Tesla full self-driving chip, also known as Hardware 4.0, is almost complete. A report in the Korea Economic Daily revealed the supplier of this integrated chip that Tesla plans to install on Cybertruck for the first time. Tesla is currently using its HW 3.0 supercomputer in all cars produced in the United States and China. As early as the Autonomy Day speech in 2019, Tesla introduced the HW 3.0 FSD computer. According to Tesla CEO Elon Musk, Although HW 3.0 fully supports the company's FSD software, the automaker still hopes to improve its next-generation computers in time to make FSD more secure. The Silicon Valley-based automaker also hopes to continuously innovate and improve its technology in the spirit of a continuous improvement cycle. Tesla first installed the HW 3.0 FSD computer in the Model 3 production car, which was the latest model at the time. Tesla will first use the HW 4.0 chip in Cybertruck, which will enter the market at the end of 2022. After Cybertruck, HW 4.0 chips will slowly transition to newly produced cars in the entire lineup, as in the case of HW 3.0. Elon Musk hinted at the use of HW 4.0 during Tesla's AI Day presentation. He said, I'm confident that HW 3.0 or the FSD Computer 1 will be able to achieve full self-driving at a safety level, much greater than a human, probably at least 200 or 300% better than a human. Obviously, there will be a future HW 4.0 or full self-driving Computer 2, which we'll probably introduce with the Cybertruck, so maybe in about a year or so. That'll be about four times more capable and roughly. But it's really just gonna be like, can we take it from? Say for argument's sake, 
300% safer than a person to 1000% safer. And just like there are people on the road who have varying driving abilities, but we still let people drive. You don't have to be the world's best driver to be on the road, explained Musk. The size of the Texas Gigafactory is very difficult to understand because the website updates usually feature aerial shots of the upcoming electric car factory. Although the aerial video taken from the resident drone operator of the project can give a good understanding of the scale of Elon Musk's upcoming Cybertruck factory, viewing the factory from the road level seems to be a completely different experience. To say that Gigafactory Texas is big is an understatement. The Texas Gigafactory, built using what appears to be the company's new construction strategy, does not seem to be built in stages like the Nevada Gigafactory, Shanghai Gigafactory, and Berlin Gigafactory. This makes a big difference when people drive past the Giga Texas site. Passing footage as early as January 2021 has hinted at the huge scale of Texas. Although there were relatively few standing buildings at the time, it was clear that Giga Texas was actually a huge project because it took a full minute on the highway to pass through the complex. By March, more Tesla enthusiasts noticed that vehicles traveling at highway speeds in the United States usually take about one minute to travel from one end of Giga Texas to the other. Recent footage of Tesla fans driving the Texas Gigafactory further emphasized this point. With the laying of the exterior walls and windows of Giga Texas, it will be easier for people to understand the true scale of the facility. Elon Musk once said that after completion, Giga Texas will be nearly a mile long. He also pointed out that the factory is about seven stories high, with each floor doubled. This will make the Texas Gigafactory one of the largest auto factories in the world. Staying in the factory, the trial production of the Tesla Model Y is now in full swing at the Texas plant. This is hinted at in a recently shared video, which contains some rare footage of the upcoming factory vehicle production area. After the 2021 annual general meeting of shareholders, May Musk posted some clips on her Instagram account. The short film shows several views of the Texas Gigafactory, from its expansive exterior to the obviously busy facility area. You can see Elon Musk walking with a baby alongside his brother Kimball. Although this post looks more like a regular update from the Musk family, May's Instagram post also rarely shows the newly built Model Y production area of the Texas Gigafactory. It can be seen that several Tesla Model Y are in different stages of assembly, and at least one unit seems to be close to completion. Interestingly, the Model Y in the recently shared video is painted black, which makes them very similar to the pre-production Model Y that was briefly shared online in late August. According to reports, the image of this black Model Y was posted on Instagram but was quickly deleted. It is reported that it was one of the first pre-production equipment produced at the Texas Gigafactory. Considering that Tesla's pre-production Model Y at Giga Texas seems to be going well, it would not be surprising if a complete crossover unit is found in the wild in the next few months. After these tests, it may be only a matter of time before Model Y starts production and customer delivery in Texas. Away from the United States, this time from Germany, the automaker launched its latest structural battery pack, which contains 4680 cells, during a trip to the Berlin Superfactory before the new plant start Model Y production. The structural battery pack is one of Tesla's latest engineering marvels. The Model Y vehicle departing from Berlin will probably be the world's first vehicle equipped with Tesla's new battery design and new 4680 batteries. In September 2020, Tesla launched 4680 batteries and structural battery packs at the Battery Day event. For many years, Tesla has been using 18650 and 2170 batteries on Model S, Model X, Model 3, and Model Y. However, as electric vehicles are continuing to struggle with attempts to parity with gasoline-powered vehicles, Tesla plans to design a new battery with a longer life, more affordable, more powerful, and longer range. In addition, Tesla has developed a new structural battery pack that can reduce vehicle mass while improving vehicle rigidity and safety. 4680 batteries answered Tesla's first question, and structural batteries were designed for vehicles that will be manufactured in Berlin and Texas. The Giga Berlin promises to equip a state-of-the-art paint shop that will be able to achieve excellent color depth. This will be a good upgrade to the current basic FOD color product. At the recent Berlin Gigafactory Brandenburg County Fair, Tesla showed off the factory, including several displays related to the German-made model Y colors. According to reports from guests of Tesla Giga Berlin, Tesla is in two new colors, dark red and dark blue. There are also some fancy model Y displayed outside, 
which may be a demonstration of the function of the pink shop, rather than an indication of a specific color. Some people also found useful information about Tesla's electric car factory in Europe. A picture shared by Dirk Kasper shows that Tesla's Giga Berlin's goal is to produce a model wide body every 45 seconds. Our team is supported by an army of robots that weld, rivet, and glue the car parts together. With highly precise and fast movements, we produce one car body every 45 seconds, noted a Giga Berlin display. Prior to GigaFest, Tesla's Berlin plant was expected to reach a peak production capacity of 500,000 vehicles per year. However, if Tesla's initial goal is to produce a body every 45 seconds, the Berlin Gigafactory may exceed 500,000 vehicles at a slight rate. Tesla supporter Truth Tesla calculated that if a Model Y body is produced every 45 seconds, Giga Berlin can produce 700,000 cars per year at peak capacity. Elon Musk responded to these calculations and shared his views on numbers. It will hopefully achieve a sustained cycle time of 45 seconds. At 75% uptime over an average week, that's still a 10K per week if run 24 per 7, noted Elon Musk. Elon Musk calculated based on data that if Giga Berlin produces 10,000 Model Y a week, it can produce up to 520,000 cars per year. However, Tesla's CEO has explained in the past that it will take time for the factory to reach peak production. Musk estimates that it will take at least a year for the Berlin Gigafactory to reach its peak, similar to the Shanghai Gigafactory. Before wrapping up this video, we have an update regarding the beloved Model Y performance. According to Tesla's online design studio, Tesla's Model Y performance variant is the fastest available configuration among all electric crossovers and will almost be sold out in 2021. Tesla responded to the widespread demand for its electric vehicles in 2021. As the electrification movement and transition continue to accelerate, Tesla is one of the most popular electric car brands, and demand for its cars continues to grow every day. Despite efforts to open two new production facilities before the end of 2021, one in the United States and one in Germany, Tesla is still dealing with the issue of delayed delivery forecast dates. It seems that the company's most popular model, the Model Y, is now close to being completely sold out in 2021. Although this may be due to the global semiconductor shortage that plagues global automakers, Tesla has done a very good job in avoiding this crisis. The Model Y long-range all-wheel drive model has been sold out for several months this year. Tesla currently plans to deliver the crossover in April 2022. However, Tesla customers can still order Model Y performance and hope to deliver it before the end of the year. As the demand for company cars continues to grow, who knows how long it will last? Tesla's online design studio has now delivered Model Y performance in December. Tesla enthusiast Sawyer Merritt first notice the change in the expected delivery date of Model Y performance. As we already mentioned, Tesla's delayed delivery dates could be attributed to parts shortages. However, the company is coming off of its best quarter in company history in terms of delivery and production rates. On Saturday morning, Tesla revealed that it had delivered 241,300 vehicles in Q3, beating Wall Street estimates by 9%. Growth is not a problem for Tesla. The company has been able to avoid semiconductor chip problems by developing 19 of its own microcontrollers. In addition, Morgan Stanley released a new investor report this week, claiming that Tesla has the ability to avoid a chip shortage crisis through vertical integration, scalability, negotiations with suppliers, and product maturity. We hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave your comment in the section below. And please don't forget to like and subscribe and be sure to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. There are many more future-focused tech videos coming soon, so until then stay tuned and we'll see you in the next video.